Hey, what's up guys? First of all, I'm here. I'm here today with perfect Welsh student of mine, Peter, and we're gonna have a look today at the Von Flu choke. So if you're getting guillotined, let's look at how we can turn that into not only surviving the guillotine choke, but passing the guard and actually choking your partner out. Fantastic move, let's take a look. Hey guys, the Von Flu choke. This choke was made popular by a guy called Jason Von Flu. Some of you may remember him from season two of The Ultimate Fighter. He was a training partner of Chuck Liddell and uh, kind of like a lanky guy and uh, he had this great choke. He used it in the UFC multiple times and it's something I've used in grappling tournaments several times as have many of my students. So let's have a look at how to do it. So the guillotine choke is how it starts. Pete's in his guard and he sits out and he comes with my foot. If I do nothing, he puts me down, covers my hips, and can get the finish or sweep to mount from there. So what we're trying to do, Pete's trying to fall this way with a guillotine. He's always trying to put my head and body on the same side of his. So let's understand that the Von Flu choke is all about rotation. So if Pete's spine is parallel with mine, and his body is to the right of mine, I will get choked. Okay, I might get lucky and fight the hands, but ultimately, let's look at rotating to beat the choke. So, I'm going to block this leg. This is the leg that I'm most worried about, and I'm going to hop over it. So as soon as I feel a guillotine threat, i.e. the guy sits up and wraps my neck up, this foot will likely be on the floor. See, people can't sit up with their feet in the air. So as he's got close guard on me, he sits up to guillotine me, I block this knee and I put all my weight for it as I pop. So you can see now that my chin has come into his ribs. With my chin into his ribs, his wrist cannot be under my chin. So he'll have a good choke of my left carotid artery, but that's it. So now watch my right hand deep to the neck. Left hand reinforced to lock his hands together. He doesn't get his hands out now. And from this position, I have two methods of force. The first one is that I push the weight through my feet, through my right shoulder, okay? So that's a good way to get that pressure here using the power of your legs. However, you'll notice that I'll also rotate my body. So if I've got my 220 pounds on him, if I rotate, I also bring that weight up. Of course, if we combine our legs in that twist like a spiraling drill bit cutting into a piece of wood, that's when we're gonna get the best choke. But remember guys, two things. One, notice he tapped with his foot. We, we, he can't tap with his hands, his hands are stuck. Okay? Two, this choke can take some time. Sometimes it will set, sometimes it won't. But understand that the choking mechanic is all about your bicep and front deltoid encompassing his trachea and his carotid artery on one side, okay? So, let's have a look at this again. Pete's got me in close guard, he sits up and goes for his guillotine. Block the leg, pop over. Under the head, under the arm, and now look at applying your pressure and waiting for the tap. Sometimes, I remember I was in a competition match, and I reckon I had to hold this thing for like 40 seconds, but you'll get the tap. Sometimes it's a slow attrition tap, you know, uh, but just get it done, keep your balance, and get it done. So let's have a look at one more time, and then a simple transition we can do if we're not happy with it. Here we go, sits up for his guillotine, over the leg, under the head, and I've got my choke here. If ever I'm in this position and I can't get the choke, what I'm gonna do is keep my weight leaning on him as I rotate my hands to his. Now that I've got his hands here, I can start loosening up space and pushing my head out to a knee on belly. This position not only gives me points, but it keeps the control. Because while I pull my head out of that choke, if my choke isn't working, I don't want to lose space. So as my head goes back, my knee comes in. So just one more time, he's got my head. I'm going for the choke. For some reason, it's not settling in. I lean to my right and I hold his hands and fingers. Okay, my left knee comes up. And now I press him down as I get my head out. I don't want to be bringing Peter up with me. Okay, so there's a Von Flu choke. It works. Sometimes it'll set, sometimes it won't, like a lot of chokes. But ultimately, this is really actually a form of head and arm choke, if you really look at it. Now, although we don't finish it like a head and arm choke, we finish it more like a guillotine or a high elbow guillotine. 
So let's practice doing that Von Flew choke. And you'll find that when people go to guillotine you, not only will you be tapping a lot less now, you're also going to be passing their guard and hopefully tapping them out. It works really good. Don't forget, check out that guy, Jason Von Flew, really cool MMA fighter and uh, a trick he's used in UFC many times. I love it, I know you will too. Take care.